In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two different ways to add a click to scroll, also called an anchor link to your website. For example, when you click this contact us button, it takes us down to this section right here, scrolls us right down. And I'm also going to show you how to link this to a different page. I just updated the button to show you an example of how that will work. We click on it and it goes to the contact page, takes us right down to the contact information. It bypasses the header section. So you could have the click to scroll and anchor links link to sections on the same page or sections on other pages. I'm going to show you how to do all of that in this tutorial. This tutorial is part of the Elementor Skills playlist where you gain a solid foundation in Elementor so you can build better and bigger websites. That playlist is linked to in the description down below so make sure you check it out after you watch this video. And if you have any questions or comments about this specific video, please leave them down below. I try to answer the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And let's get started. To create a click to scroll, which is also called an anchor link, we have to open an Elementor page we want to edit. So let's go to pages. Let's find a page. The home page is usually a pretty good one for this kind of thing. Click on edit with Elementor. Now let's find the section that you want to scroll down to when someone clicks on the specific link. We'll define the link after. So let's scroll them down to right here, this contact call to action. We're going to add a menu anchor widget. Let's drop that in as high as possible in this section, which is right there and we're gonna give it a name. This has to be letters, numbers, and dashes or underscores, no spaces. You can also have capital letters if you want. So I'm gonna name this contact section to be very descriptive. Let's copy this whole thing. And now we scroll up and we find a button to attach it to. Let's put it on the About Us button. Let's change the text to contact us because that'll make more sense. In the link box right here, we have a hashtag already. We leave that hashtag there and then we paste in, keeps on highlighting that. If it erases it, make sure you put it back on the front. We paste in that descriptive text we put in for our ID, in this case, contact section. Then we click on update. Then we preview the page. And now when we click right here, it's gonna scroll us right down to the section that we wanna scroll down to. And you notice it puts the top of the browser right at the top of the widget. So wherever the top of this widget is, the anchor menu widget, that's where the browser is going to scroll down to. So that's one way to do it. There is another way that's not using a widget. So let's just delete the widget. And let's delete this right here. Update to save those changes. We can actually come down here to the section, click on the six dots, go to advanced, give it an ID right here in CSS ID, and let's make it contact section again, and then we copy it. And we go back up, go back to the button, and this time we don't have a hashtag, we have to put the actual URL for this page. In this case, it is HTTP new elementor playground.com forward slash, now you put a hashtag, then you add your ID. And if this were, say, on your services page, you'd have to add in here services. So you have to have the complete URL to whatever page your anchor text is on. Okay, now update that. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. Go back out to here, click on contact us and it scrolls us down to this section. You'll notice the difference. In this case, we're able to have it go right to the top of this section instead of going down to here. I think this is a bit of a better user experience. The reason it didn't work that way with the anchor widget was we weren't able to put the anchor widget in a good enough location. So we're able to put it here and we can put it in this area. We can't put it at the top of this section. We can put it at the bottom of this one, that might work, but it's kind of hokey. You could add some padding, you could put it here, add a bunch of padding to move it to the top and still have this be in the same place, which can be kind of a pain. It's much easier just to add the ID to the section if that works better. In some cases, the widget will work better. In some cases, having it right here will work better. And now the last thing that you're gonna find very useful is you can have these click to scroll buttons or anchor links link to other pages. 
So we can have a button right here, for example, that when we click on it, it scrolls down to the same page, but we could also have this button link to the contact page and have it scroll down to the opt-in form, or sorry, the, the contact form, if you want. So let's do that really quick. Let's go to the contact page and we're gonna have it scroll down just a little bit right to this section right here where you can send us a message right to there. So let's edit the page with Elementor. And so now, since you know what you're doing, you have the option of adding the menu anchor widget or going directly to the advanced settings and using the CSS ID field. I prefer that for the reasons I outlined a moment ago. If we try to add the menu anchor again, it doesn't go where we want to scroll to. It goes right to the top of the message. Then we'll scroll down right to there. And it, it's not as user friendly, in my opinion. It's much better if there's a little white space, I think. So I'm going to click on the six dots, make sure I'm on the advanced tab. I'm going to call this contact form. Remember, letters, numbers, dashes, and underscores, no spaces. So let's copy this and then update. Now let's go back to the home page. And in this button, we have our link here. Let's just delete what we have there. We want to have this to be the link to the contact page followed by the hashtag and whatever ID we put in here, which in this case is contact form. So I'm going to start typing in here, contact. Here's our contact page. It has the full URL. Here's the domain name, forward slash contact. After the last slash, put the hashtag, paste in the CSS ID, then click on update. And now when we click the link on the home page, we are going to not go to a separate spot on this page. It's going to go to the contact page and then scroll us down to where we want to go. So let's click on it. Boom, we're here instantly. With some JavaScript, you can make it so it comes to the page and then within a split second, start scrolling down to where the person wants to go. That can be confusing sometimes because people might think the website's scrolling to some place and they're not even doing the scrolling, so it might be weird. If it goes right to the section they're looking for, that's a lot less confusing because they clicked contact and they went right to the contact area of the contact page. So if you had help docs, for example, that clearly explain everything on your site or with your service or whatever, and you can link to specific sections in your help docs from your blog posts to better explain whatever it is you're explaining, that's really user friendly. That's really helpful for people. Instead of saying, for more information, look at our help docs, and then it goes to this help doc database that's not super useful, you can have people go specifically to the exact entry and the exact location in the exact entry that you think helps better explain whatever it is you're explaining. I hope that made sense. Either way, that's how you add a click to scroll or an anchor link to your website. This Elementor video is part of my Elementor Skills playlist where we cover lots of the basics in Elementor to help you get up and running with Elementor as fast as possible. If you want to check out that playlist, it's a link to in the description down below and probably in a card up above somewhere during this video. So check out that playlist if you want to level up your Elementor skills. And if you don't have Elementor Pro yet, click the link in the description down below to get yourself a copy. It is an affiliate link, so if you buy through that link, I do get a commission, and it does not make it more expensive for you. It's just that Elementor shares that referral income with me, and that's what helps me keep making these videos for free and putting them up on YouTube so you can get better at WordPress and Elementor. So if you buy through that link down below, I really appreciate it. And next up, check out the Elementor Skills playlist right here, which I referenced throughout this video. If you watch those videos, your Elementor skills will be increased. So if you wanna get better, watch that playlist. And if you haven't done so yet, Click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.